today we're going to replace the surround foam on this 12JLW3. Alright, I've had these speakers for maybe over 20 years already. Uh, at least for sure 15. Um, I have a rebuilt foam kit for both of them. But we're just going to use one. This one's still good. It's just that I think this one got damaged maybe because it got wet. Looks like it got wet or something. <clears throat> so anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it off the box and get started. All right, there it is. I don't know why, but the magnet has came off of both of these. So I put some fat acid ties and it seems to be working um, to the day they're still rocking. They still sound hella good. Even this cone has came off. I've already glued it a couple of times. Spray painted it to make it look a little prettier, but it just looks ugly. But these speakers are still hella good. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take off this upper piece foam, and then we're gonna start ripping off all of this foam all the way around, and we're gonna clean it off with a razor blade. And you can simply just pull this out by just pushing it down and over. And make your way all the way around. Alright. Here we can see the old glue from when I glued it before. So we're gonna have to remove all this here. We just rip it off. It doesn't matter. We're gonna clean all of this with a razor blade. So go ahead and just rip everything off. All right, when you're finished, it should look like this. What you wanna do is try to get all of this glue off. Just whatever you can, because we're gonna hit this with a razor. All right, here's everything that I've taken off so far. So now with a razor blade, we're just gonna take everything off. It's gonna be a B word. Try to grab underneath and just cut all the way through. Just try your best to get it all cleaned out. And on this plastic, you kind of want to just push from underneath to lift up and grab it. And it's kind of hard to do. But essentially, what you want to do is try to scrape everything off from here. can't do it like this with two hands but essentially you're just scraping everything off and getting everything off all right I got out as much as I possibly could it's time to bring out the big boys so if you have some power tools and a grinder or a brush wheel uh, for a drill Go ahead and use it to clean this up right here on the side. Make it a lot easier for you. Go ahead and do this real quick. Works separately and then both ones. All right, now I'm gonna use this one to finish it off. Once you finish, it should look like this. If you want, you could just try to get it with this brush. I don't see it's gonna do much. So I think you're pretty much done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this area off. And this one as well. That way we could apply the glue and apply the new surround foam. All right, I just got this rag and 
cleaned it up with soap and water and we're just gonna clean all the way around just everything all right you also want to lift this like that and clean all of this right here oops forgot to turn off my light now that I have my whole area prepped I'm gonna lift this and I'm gonna stick this underneath to hold it right up kind of like when you open up your hood and you put the hood latch just like bringing it up. I'm gonna use both hands real quick all right just like this uh, the reason for it is because you want everything elevated so when you put in the glue and you put in the new foam you see everything just like lines up perfectly just have to work it all in here Adjust this according to height. Okay. Let's look at that's perfect. It's perfect. That's what you want right here. So apply the glue and try to make it all look like this everywhere. If you need to, stick another one on this side to help it balance it out. And just like so. Sometimes you just gotta get creative. Everything's ready. Pull this in, the glue, and set it. All right, I have my glue prepped here, and I think the way I did it last time is I glued everything here first. I let it dry for a little bit, and then I glued everything here. That way, I had a nice, perfectly good seal up here first. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and apply the glue up here first. I want to glob it just enough. I'm going to work it all the way around. Alright, you just want to rub this back and forth. Like if you're erasing something or scratching it out and then we're gonna apply the foam all right as you can see I worked all of it in all the way around and what you might want to do is look from the bottom and compress it together from both sides like if you're pinching it make this dry so we're gonna do this layer first and we'll pop this one. You can see this sits perfectly on there already. Sweet. So let me get this off before it ruins what we're doing. Alright, I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 15 minutes. Turn on the ceiling fan to help it dry off a little faster. There it is. Yeah, a little bit of glue came out. That's okay. It's because I'm pushing it from the bottom and the top. Uh, making sure everything is nice and glued then we'll just have to finish off the slayer all right you don't really need to do this but what i did turn on the light, was i scratched some right on the edge and i did it a little over too much here clean that up a little bit and did it all the way around the edge that way it has an extra layer of seal because it gets hella hot over here and I don't want the glue to melt and mess up in the summertime. Summertime is right around the corner. Hate to repair the sucker again. Yeah. I know we got a lot of it in here. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to turn off this air. And now we're gonna apply our glue right on the outside, right on the frame. All right, and the same thing on this side. Uh, with one hand, you're gonna pull this way, like that. 
And with the other one, you're just gonna do little circles like that all the way around. So let me go ahead and do it all the way around. All right, once you put it all the way around, you just take this off and there, just let it naturally sit. Just press it down a little bit. Press the edge in. all over the place all right now we just let it dry if you want you could put this back on um, just real quick put this here just put this here all right and now We'll just get this and work it in there. Uh, you want to line up these holes with those holes right there. Just like so. Actually, I'm sorry. I took it off that way and I'm used to taking it off and putting it back the way I take it off. But I think it's easier if you stick this in from the top, sit it on there, and just slide it in here. There's a little opening here, you gotta slide it in. All right, and there it is. That's how it looks when you're complete. Nice and good, nice and bouncy. Perfect. But we're just gonna let that sit overnight. Should be ready to slap in the morning. All right, box. Just have to wait till the morning till we assemble you back together. We could put everything back together right now. Sure, why not? You just can't play you till the morning. I'm actually going to not play this tomorrow. I think I'm going to let it cure over day. That way it gets nice and dried and it's good to go. No more problems. No more rips. Brand new surround foam. Ready to rock and roll. Sweet. Thank you for watching. That's why these speakers have lasted me a long ass time. Because I do some maintenance on them. There's the surround sound maintenance. The stupid magnets fall off. Put some zip ties on them. <laughs> yeah, these speakers are old, but when I got them brand new, they were $200 each. So I paid $400 for these two speakers. And this glue right here because then I hear that rattle. All right, I just wanted to show that it's working. I have this one connected and there it is. This one's disconnected. But there it is, it's working. Sweet, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.